It's Floyd Mayweather's exhibition pay-per-view with Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia on on, on the undercard, a real thing for Showtime pay-per-view? Um, all, all, all of those fights are being considered, um, you know, separately. I mean, they could end up all together, but certainly all those are fights that we have discussed. Um, they could end up all together. They could end up sort of dispersed in different opportunities. You know, it's one of those things we get in this little rush at the end of the year. There's a lot of fights sort of percolating. Um, we've got two you know, big cards left in the end of the year, this one and one in December. Um, and we're still working on sort of where, which fights go where and mixing and matching. So there'll be news pretty shortly, but there's plenty of good fights to go around. Um, and I think, you know, candidly, even on this fight, I think this fight, the November 25th, Benavidez Andre, will have a, a, an undercard made up of, you know, at least two fights which could arguably be main events in their own right. I'm here with Showtime Boxing President Steven Espinosa. Pleasure having you on once again. Good to be back. Can you please address these rumors of Showtime supposedly leaving boxing even after our last interview? These rumors won't stop coming I, in. They, they won't stop. And, you know, it, it's funny. I, I, You know, at a certain point, you just have to laugh because everybody's an expert. Everybody's got an inside source. Uh, and I, I, I read all these expert opinions and inside sources, and it's just it's comical. Um, look, uh, the, the, the reality is there's a lot of changes going in within Paramount, within the industry as a whole. Um, there are conversations you know, going on like there are every year. Um, there are decisions to be made on programming every year. Um, but you know, as of right now, no decision's been made. When we have a decision, then we'll have something to announce and there'll be an announcement. But until then, you know, all these people who you know, are saying, I know what's going on and this is the rationale and it's this silly 10% this or it's pay-per-view here or it's you know uh, you know this platform is coming in uh, it, 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 it's all comedy you know but more importantly you know more than sort of networks and executives and all that what what people care about what you guys care about what your your fans and and, and what people at home care about is they want good fights so until someone tells us differently we're going to keep doing what we've been doing, and that's delivering what fans want, the biggest fights in the sport, week after week, month after month. Yeah, I was going to say, have you seen the reports of PBC signing a new contract with Amazon Prime and hosting Tank versus Pitbull rematch on Amazon yeah. next year instead of Showtime? Yeah, that's the, one, um, that's the one I just had to laugh. I mean, there are so many elements of that which are, you know, <laughs> you know just laughable. And, but, of course, everybody thinks they're an expert. I mean, that, that's the thing. Look. The good thing about social media and the good thing about uh, the expansion of media generally is that everybody's got a voice and everybody can make an impact. You know, the bad thing about social media and the expansion of media is that everybody's got a voice, you know, and some people use it in more ridiculous ways than others. <laughs> and, Absolutely. you know, for people are looking for clout, looking for an impact, you know, saying stuff that, you know, quite honestly has no basis in fact you know, to get attention. And so all you can do is laugh. And at the same time, you know, keep our head down, down and continue delivering the best fights in the sport. Yeah, the media even said Benavidez versus Andre was going to be on Amazon Prime. Did you see that one? <laughs> no, I missed that one. I missed that one. Somebody, uh, somebody should have told me ahead of this press conference we're going to save a lot of time and energy. Yeah, Dana White seems to continue to talk about boxing. Why do you think he does that when boxing heads never talk about U UFC? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I know he's always wanted to get into the sport. Um, I'm not exactly sure why he's sort of seems to be a little bit obsessed, uh, particularly with me and with Showtime Boxing. It's getting a little creepy, um, you know, to be kind of honest. I, I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> spend a lot of time thinking about their business or worrying about their business. Um, and only when it you know, pops up on my timeline every occasionally. But I can't explain it, to be completely honest. It's Floyd Mayweather's exhibition pay-per-view with Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia on, 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 on the undercard, a real thing for Showtime pay-per-view? Um, all, all, all of those fights are being considered um, you know, separately. I mean, they could end up all together, but certainly all those are fights that we have discussed. Um, they could end up all together. They could end up sort of dispersed in different opportunities. You know, it's one of those things we get in this little rush at the end of the year. There's a lot of fights sort of percolating. Um, we've got two you know, big cards left in the end of the year, this one and one in December. Um, and we're still working on 
sort of where, which fights go where and mixing and matching. So there'll be news pretty shortly, but there's plenty of good fights to go around. Um, and I think, you know, candidly, even on this fight, I think this fight, that November 25th, Benavidez Andre, will have a, a, an undercard made up of, you know, at least two fights which could arguably be main events in their own right. Okay. To wrap this interview up, the fans really want to know when Showtime is going to announce their new boxing schedule for next year. When can we expect that announcement? You know, I, I think, look, a lot of things happen in the month of October. You know, that's traditionally a, a, a budget month. You know, people, you know, we get our budgets for next year. You start talking about things like that. So I think, you know, a lot of these questions are going to be answered pretty shortly. Thank you. Appreciate it.